Okay, so you were in Mykonos this summer. I was. Tell us all about it. I was in Mykonos for um, two months. Yes. I got called, actually, so before that, let's rewind, I was in Tel Aviv in Israel for Gay Pride, which, which was so amazing. It, it's the best thing. If you haven't gone, you have to go book your tickets now. Um, so it was really great, and I was sitting there on my last day on the beach in Tel Aviv, and I was like, dang, I really wanted to go to Mykonos this year, and it didn't work out, I swear, on the beach. And as I'm sitting there, I got a phone call from this guy who open, is opening a club in Mykonos. He's like, hi, found your information, would you like to come and work in Mykonos for two months? And I'm like, <laughs> this word do you say? <laughs> I'm like, I should I just, like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, I'll get back to you. What? I know. Yes. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? All right, yeah. so you, you're in Mykonos, and then you end up hanging out and partying with one of the most famous party girls ever. Party girls on the planet, Lindsay yeah. Lohan. Yes. Okay, so you're at Cinderella, and you're at her beach club? How well, does this I kind of bounced around. To, there's like a lot of club. You know, Mykonos is a big party island, yes. so I was bouncing around to a lot of different venues. So Lindsay was filming, MTV was filming a reality show okay. based around her new clubs that she's opening across the world. Anyway, yes. so they were in Cinderella often, the whole team crew and everything like that. And then they were doing a gay pride event at at Lohan. Okay. So they said, hey girl, would you like to come in? First of all, it was perform. Now I'm gonna get you into the dirty details. <laughs> First of all, it was just to perform, and I was like, sure, I'm just doing a number. Long story short, the day of, 11 a.m., yeah. I'm supposed to be there at one, they're like, hey, can you host the event and find us go-go dancers and three other drag queens, because we've lost everybody. And I'm like, <laughs> Sure. This is how you throw a party in Mykonos, bitch. I was talking about myself, <laughs> not her. I was like, this is how you throw a party in Mykonos, bitch. So I found it, because everybody from Miami was in Mykonos this day. So Absolutely. I got them go-go dancers, I got them some drag queens, then we threw a party. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's it was fantastic. So amazing. Let's talk about your philanthropy. You are uh, Dream Queens. Tell Dream us Queens. about it. So, um, okay, so Dream Queens started... Um, Two, a year or two ago, mm -hmm. I was invited by my friend Logan, who's a nurse at the um, Burn Trauma Center. Yes. And I went there and we met the children and we were going to do a glam day for them. Basically, you know, brought makeup and mm -hmm. show different makeup tricks. Now, a lot of these girls and boys had, uh, you know, their skin wasn't like typical skin that you would do at Macy's makeup counter, you know. Yeah. So it was a little bit of a challenge. I went in full drag, you know, the whole glam thing was there. And it was really life changing for me because, you know, day to day, we go through our lives and we worry about petty things. What am I gonna wear? The boyfriend didn't call me back. I can't get my eyebrows done. Mm -hmm. And these kids who have gone through something that to me would just ruin my whole life yes. were so optimistic. They were so happy to be there. Like nothing about their physical appearance even bothered them. They were just happy to be there learning makeup tricks. And it was so eye-opening to me. And I said, you know what? They had a great time. I had a great time. When I put it on Facebook, there was such a feedback from the community. The drag queens were like, I want to go to the next one. I want to go to the next one. I said, you know what? This is perfect because people think that drag queens are creatures of the night, mm -hmm. are alcoholics or drug addicts. There's a lot of stigma attached around drag queens. Of course, you know what I mean? Course. And I was like, this is a great way to bring us out of the darkness, bring the gay pride to people that can't go to gay pride which was my biggest thing. Um, we get to go to these hospitals. We get to, we went to the I women's shelters. I know, them. it's been crazy. And the, the, the amount of uh, energy and excitement that's come from the drag community here in mm -hmm. South Florida, the, the, the fellowship that yeah. surrounds the events that we put together has been crazy huge. And I just think it's really great for the soul. For Absolutely. some of us that could get really caught up in a lot of nightlife mm -hmm. things and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that, this really kind of, it brings you back to your heart, back Absolutely. to what you do. And it doesn't end there for you as well. Right. Um, we just had a, a catastrophic hurricane Came here in um, North Florida, and it left it left us homeless. So many people in our right. uh, in our Flor Florida community. And I saw. Tell us about how you're involved with that. Okay, so well, Hurricane Michael devastated Northern Florida, the whole Panhandle, um, and you know it's not getting a lot of news coverage, which is a big mm -hmm. a big issue right now. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it's it's kind of like not being covered as much as other hurricanes the were. The midterms are overshadowing mm -hmm. it. So anyway. Um, Another drag queen uh, entertainer that works with me at my Sunday brunch at our house, Tiana Love. She was love actually, her. we all love Tiana. Yes. She was actually approached um, by somebody to do a food drive and, and to set it up at our house. I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, she brought the idea to me 
and we created an event around it. And um, on last Sunday, we did a food drive. We brought <laughs> you know canned food. We raised money. Um, the drag queens performed. We donated our tips. Um, you know what I mean? And we raised the money and sent it up there to the victims of Hurricane Michael. My yeah. heart. But is it's not me. You see what I'm saying? She came to me to do that. Right. So I feel like if I could have just started a domino effect, and people mm -hmm. are like, "Look, we can actually do this." You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's the bigger picture. So it was really great. You are rocky. <laughs> Love what you do, love how you do it, and that shines through. Can I get an amen? amen.